no intro yet for this video let's just get straight into it so tip number one when you're editing any sort of wide edit you want to make sure that you're within the lines of the edit grid this makes sure that when you edit the, the opponent can't see you this works for peanut butter edits or something like a window edit tip number two when you're above someone's box if you're on top of the cone in the center they actually can't edit you down with any sort of edit they make unless it's a diagonal edit but no one does a diagonal edit in any sort of gameplay so you're pretty safe to not be dropped down knowing this trick you can actually edit someone down that's on their cone by doing a diagonal edit all right so when someone is boxed up and you know they have no cone in their box you can actually go to the side of their box and phase a cone in by just having good crosshair placement you aim at the edge of their their wall and you're gonna put a cone inside their box. Up next, I have a trick that my friend Slides taught me, and basically it's when you make a peanut butter edit, you wanna make sure that you have a cone in your box because you hit your head a lot faster on the ceiling when compared to without the cone. So you have a lot more air time and you can get pumped for a lot more damage. Next up, I have a trick for if someone is very pre-fiery and they keep trying to like pre-fire your, your shots, what you, what you can do is actually, if you get the wall to something like this HP, you can build pickaxe and they'll still get the sound cue. I'll replay that. And since they get the sound cue, they'll be baited to you know, shoot the wall. All right, so up next, I have an editing trick that'll help you get a lot more range out of your mats and a lot more distance in your fights. And it's basically, you can edit farther out with your blueprints than compared to your pickaxe or your like, shotgun, per se. So like, I have my shotgun out here and I, I can't edit this, so I'm able to edit building. But if I put my blueprints out, I'm actually able to edit this wall however I please. And you can use this a lot in fights where, like, let's say you have this, let's see your box fighting and you need to take someone's wall. You take the wall and you, and you edit it like that. And you can, you know, you can do what you need to do with that. Alright, so up next, I have a side jump trick. And basically, it's when you side jump, you want to start high walling. Because what this does is it cuts off this angle from your opponent. Let's say they're too late. Let's say they're, like, above you over here somewhere, you know and they're trying to get cheeky pump shots in, you put this high wall, they, they get this entire angle cut off. Because if they're right here, and they see you side jump onto this onto this floor, they'll see you, then they'll easily pump you. Another thing you could do is put a ramp above you when you side jump, just to, again, cut that layer of protection off, but you're forced into this little like area, and you need to get out of here pretty quickly. What I like to do is combine my high wall side jump with some movement to try to get some peace control on my enemies. Alright, so this trick is used when you're ramp rushing someone and let's say they're a layer above you and you need, you need to match their layer as well. So what you can do is put a ramp in front of you, put a floor and a ramp on this ramp, and you can actually jump onto this ramp. You can combine that with attack sprint and it'll look something like this. And what that does is it quickly gets you up a layer without having to change your camera movement to do a 90 or whatever. And you can also do this at a diagonal motion, let's say my enemy is over there. I can actually do this to the side too. Like, you can actually do this like this to get that ankle up and one over as well. Let me know if you guys enjoyed a video like this. It took a good amount of time and effort to make. And I'll definitely make more in the future depending on how this video does. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below any more tips you guys would like to see. As well as any more video ideas because I am kind of running low. Thank you guys for sticking to the end of the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Peace.